Hello, San Diego. I'm Jeff Wetzel, president of Bridalwood Insurance, and welcome to this year's fabulous Aging Expo. A lot of changes are coming to San Diego this year when it comes to your Medicare insurance. Finally, for the first time in seven years, we're actually getting some exciting new benefits heading your direction. So let's go ahead and get started. So this year, the question is, what is Medicare? What, how do we get in this? It's primarily for people that are 65 and older and for those under 65 that have certain disabilities. So if you want to know where Medicare is today, we really have to take the story back. Even though Medicare was signed into law in July 30, 1965, the story actually starts 20 years before that, back to uh, FDR. When FDR was president, he passed away in April of 1945, and Harry Truman was then only vice president for 82 days, uh, was then sworn into, uh, into power, and as a tribute to FDR, Truman says, we need to have medical care for our seniors in this country. So he ended up leaving office uh, without getting it done. So for the next 20 years, every time I had a camera in his face, Harry Truman, give him, give him heck Harry, right? He was like, uh, we need to have medical care for our seniors in this country. And so finally in 1965, Lyndon Johnson got it approved. And as a tribute to Harry Truman for his 20 years of steadfast you know, getting after this, uh, Harry was awarded the very first Medicare card in this country. And his wife, Bess, got the second card. And that's the picture of them taking it right there. Moving forward, Harry got the first card. And as you can see on that card, it has his social security number with an A at the end of it. Well, it took him about 52 years to figure out that wasn't a good idea. So now your Medicare cards look a lot like this. So you've got a MBI number, and it has some letters and numbers, and it's not something anybody can steal or do anything with. And remember, under part of that is the Part A and Part B, so you'll see the start dates on that. You'll get a card, and those are really the three main parts of it. You're going to look at your Medicare number, your start dates for A and B, and we'll cover that a little bit later in today's training. Right now, there's about 57 million Americans that are on Medicare. Um, in about 10 years, that number's grown to 80 million so that's where you see all these projections, or Medicare is going to go broke. Well, that's what it is. This baby boomer uh, is coming about, and the top of it's about 10 years away. And that's when everybody's going to be on Medicare at that point, and it's going to be straining the system. Close to home here, you can see that there's about 2,000 people every month turning 65 here in San Diego. And we think that trend's going to continue for the next 10 to 12 years. So that's kind of where, where things are going locally. Back in 1965, when they set up original Medicare, as you remember, remember we talked about the Part A and Part B? Well, that's what they call original Medicare. So when you hear the term original Medicare, this is what they're talking about. So Part A covers the hospital, Part B covers the doctors, and basically Medicare covers 80% of the bills. Let's just kind of keep it simple. So you figure Medicare gets you 80% home. Well, my job as your advisor is to help you with the other 20%. We'll get you set up with Medicare, but that only that 20% can leave you at unlimited risk. So the question is, now we know what the premium is today, but what was the premium back in 1965? What did it cost you to be part of the Medicare system? And the answer is $3. So in 1965, to be part of the Medicare system, you paid $3 a month and uh, get you going. Today, Part A is free as long as you work 10 years in this country, and the Part B is $144.60. Well, that Part A isn't really free. I mean, every time you got a paycheck for the last 30 years, 40 years, part of that went to pay for Medicare. Well, that's what you paid for. You paid for your Part A. That was the hospitalization part. So as long as you work 10 years in this country, or you had a spouse that worked 10 years in this country, um, you would qualify for Part A. Part B is the part everybody pays for, and all 57 million Americans pay for that Part B premium to be part of the Medicare system. So the good news is it's great insurance, um, but it doesn't get you all the way there. So our job is to kind of uh, fill in the gaps and the holes. So one of the things we wanted to look at is that Part B premium. That's the one they get all excited about if you got a late enrollment penalty or this, this is it. It's over B. And they're projecting that that 
is going to bump a little bit, and they're looking for another bump up to about maybe 148.50, and I've seen anywhere from that to 152. They haven't made the announcement yet. Typically, they, they give you the cost of living increase prior to the elections, and then they tell you about how much they're going to take back from you on the Part B premium after the election. So yeah, funny how that works, right? So let's move on. There's a little thing that came in about Obamacare several years back. If you can afford more, you can pay more. That's called the Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount. So IRMA. It's the IRMA tables, right? So you look at uh, going ahead for, for the next year, you can take a look at and see that the IRMA tables, if you're a single making more than 88000 a year or a married filing jointly, $176,000 a year, you're going to be paying a little bit more for your Medicare. All right. So um, and the thing about it is they're looking back two years. So if we're in the 2021 tax season, right, the Medicare season, they're looking at your 2019 adjusted gross income. So if you need uh, IRMA tables, uh, give us a call. We'll send them out to you so you know what you're going to deal with. But for those that have higher incomes, you will pay more than $144.60 for your Part B and Part D, D for drug uh, tables. So anyway, just be aware of that. All right. So moving on, like I said, Medicare has the A, B, C, D. Well, it's not really that, that difficult. We already talked about A and B. All right. So A is the hospital, B is for doctors. That gets you 80% home. The C, I like to say, for stands for combined. It kind of combines your A and B together in a package, and that package then comes with additional things, vision, uh, dental, hearing, uh, gym memberships. I mean, there's all kinds of extra things they throw into that. And then the final part is the part D, D for drugs. It's about the only thing that matches up, so D for your prescription drug medicine. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit here. So as we talked about the part A and B, which gets you... 80% per, home, the other 20% that you're on the hook for, here's the deal. There is, there is no cap on that 20%. And so you're at unlimited risk if you only have original Medicare. So you need something else that covers that 20%. So when we look at this, if you had cancer and you had to go get cancer treatments, I mean, these doctors can run up a half a million dollar bill in the blink of an eye you're on the hook for 20%. There's $100,000 out of pocket that you're on the hook for. So you have to have additional coverage to protect yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So there's really two different ways of covering that 20%. And we're gonna kind of go over that today and kind of keep it simple. Option one or option two, all right? So let's look at it a little bit closer. Option one leaves Medicare's primary insurance. So Medicare is your primary. So when the doctor has a bill, he sends it to Medicare first. Medicare pays the 80%, and then they send it over to option one, which is called a supplement plan, also known as a Medigap, a Medigap plan. And it covers the gaps and the holes that original Medicare doesn't pay for. So generally, how it works is the bill gets paid by Medicare. They send it over to the supplement plan. They pay the difference and while all your things are paid for, right? Your, all your uh, medical expenses, right? So when we go this direction, we're also buying our Part D drug plan separately, all right? So let's go ahead and move on and see what that looks like. Again, we talked about the supplement plan, and when we go to this box, I'm gonna open this box up and see what it looks like inside, because when you open up a Medicare supplement plan, you have options of which type of, or what flavor of a Medicare supplement plan would you like? So let's go ahead and open that box up and here's kind of what it looks like. So you have different lettered plans. So would you like the F plan, the G plan, or the N plan? All right, so just to keep it kind of simple, the F is what we call the, that's the top of the line, it's the Cadillac of plans. And it also, it was almost too good. It was a fabulous plan, F for fabulous. It was almost too fabulous because as of January 1st, 2020, anybody that turned on their Medicare January 1st of 2020 or later, uh, you don't have access to the F plan. So everybody that was prior to, so if you're Part A, remember your start date on Part A? So if your start date on your Part A card is prior to 1-1-2020, you are grandfathered in, you can get on an F plan if you do one. 
So F plan, there's no du deductible, no co-pays, everything's paid for. It's also, you know, the most expensive plan out there. So the next one below that is a G plan, G for great. It's a great plan. It's, uh, it has a, a one-time per year $198 deductible. That's for 2020. They haven't announced the 2021 deductible yet as of this taping, but you can figure it's going to go five, six, eight bucks higher. I would say probably $205 deductible for your Part B for 2021. So what that means is you go to the doctor, he sends you a $100 bill, um, $80 gets paid by Medicare, you pay the $20 out of your pocket, and that applies towards your $198 deductible. Once you've pulled out of your pocket $198 for the year, then that G plan acts like a F for a fabulous plan the rest of the year, and everything 100% is then picked up after that. So don't be afraid of the G plan. It's fabulous. It acts just like an F. It just has a small deductible per year in there. So it, it works out great. And they price it so that it's, it's sometimes three, four, five hundred dollars cheaper than the F plan. Even if you pay the deductible, you're still two, three hundred dollars ahead by being on the G plan. So uh, take a look at G. The final one that I recommend is N, N for nice, the nice plan. All right, it has kind of the same attributes. You can still go to any doctor, any special, any hospital, anywhere in the country. It's just when they send the bill to your supplement plan, the, the has a $198 deductible and a $20 copay each time you go to the doctor. So basically every time you leave the house and you go to the doctor, it's $20, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Whether it's a specialist, a primary doctor, a physical therapy, whatever, it's 20 bucks every time you go. All right, so that's the difference between an F plan, a G plan, and an N plan. Those are the three that I would recommend. So you take a look at one of those three, price them out. It's just mathematics at that point, and, uh, and go from there. So we talked about the G, and it acts like an F the rest of the year. And the next thing we get into is the drug plans, all right? So the Part D for drugs. So that's always exciting, Part D. Medicare says it's optional, but here's the thing about the optional part, is it's optional, but if you don't get it when you're required to have it, if you come to try to turn it on later, they penalize you and the penalty stays with you the rest of your life. So they can't force you to get a Part D drug plan, but they can penalize you. And so anyway, it is something that you're gonna to wanna to get a drug plan, even if you don't take any medicine. And that's where trips people up because they go, well, I'm turning 65, I wanna be able to go to any doctor I wanna to go to, but I don't take any medicine, so why do I buy a Part D drug plan when it says it's optional? Well, there's your answer. So if you don't, they're going to penalize you, and that's the way. That's kind of the way it works out. So just be careful there. So I wanted you to look at for the 2021 season. Is the drug plans come with a pretty substantial deductible um, for 2021? It's 445 dollars, and the drug plans are all over the place. They have them down to Silver Scripts has got a new one coming out for 2021 at $7.20 a month, and they run all the way up to United Healthcare plans at just under $100 a month. So you kind of take your pick at which one works best for you. I think in San Diego County alone, there's 29 different standalone drug plans. So just give us a call. We can kind of take your meds, run through the calculator, see which one would work best for you. So, you know, generally we can find something that, uh, that will work out good. We have to kind of balance between the deductible and the tier levels. Um, one thing I'm seeing this year, just be careful, a little sneaky this year, some of the drug plans, like a tier three level medicine, which was a brand name medicine last year, 2020, was say $35 a month. And now for 2021, it's 35%, right? So you don't know what's 30% of what? You go to the pharmacy, you have no clue what 35% of that medicine is, but you're going to find out. Unfortunately, it's usually find out the hard way. So having a fixed cost, knowing in this medicine is going to cost me $35, and now you're walking, it's going to cost 35%. So a little tricky by the drug companies. Make sure you watch that when you're looking at your formularies this year. All right, let's move on. We are looking at, by going with a supplement plan, you're going to have to look at, you're going to have basically three different payments. So you're going to have the $144.60 that gets you entry into Medicare, you're going to have your supplement plan payment that's anywhere from $100 to $250, depending on your age and what flavor of plan that you get. And then you have your standalone drug plan that's anywhere from, call it $8, bucks, all the way up to $100. Uh, 
So you're going to have three payments every month. Now, this is the Cadillac of plans. Any doctor, any specials, any hospital, anywhere in the country, anytime you want to go, you don't need referrals, you can just go straight to a specialist. You know, 98% of all doctors accept Medicare. Really, that's the only question you have to ask is, uh, hey, doc, do you accept Medicare? Great. Here's my supplement plan. Uh, here's my uh, original Medicare. You know, we're ready to go. So anyway, that's just something to be careful for. But do you really need to go to any doctor, any special, any house in the country? Well, let's take a look. And that's really where we get into option two. The biggest difference between these two animals, between option one and option two, is if you leave this recording today and you saw nothing else or learned nothing else besides this, get this part down. Option one leaves Medicare's primary insurance. So Medicare pays first and then they send it over to the supplement plan and the supplement plan pays second. When you have option two, Medicare transfers primary insurance to the insurance companies, whether it's Humana, United, uh, Aetna, right? They're now in charge of your health care. Uh, Medicare actually pushes over to the insurance company and says, here, you run it. We're going to pay you, the insurance company, X amount of dollars every month to take care of that customer. You have to fix dollar amount. So if uh, that customer runs through their dollar amount, well, that's on you, the insurance company. Don't come back to us. So that's the difference between it on option two, the insurance company. And it's not a bad thing. It's just saying that they're in charge of your health care. So since they're already being paid, many of these plans are a zero premium plan. They cost you nothing monthly to have these. Think of it as pay-as-you-go insurance. So we'll go ahead and let's move ahead with that. So the, the good part is an option two is the low cost. It's generally fixed. It's a low cost. You can uh, budget and pay-as-you-go type thing. I mean, the downside is you have to stay within your network. So if you're in San Diego, if, you're, if you have a sharp primary doctor, you have to stay within the sharp network. If your primary doctor is obviously with Kaiser, you got to stay with Kaiser. If you're with Scripps, you got to stay with Scripps. UCSD, again, you stay within your network. So as long as all your doctors are under one roof, um, option two works out just fine, right? So in San Diego, we are blessed to have some, some terrific uh, insurance companies. And the ones that are prominent here in San Diego is we're looking at, uh, we've got Aetna, Anthem Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Humana, Kaiser Scan, United Healthcare, I just kind of list a few of them. But the trick to our side is, is you've got to match those up with, with the health carriers, uh, health insurance companies that we have here, local carriers, whether it's Scripps Health or Sharp Healthcare, UCSD, Arch Health, Kaiser, Perlman Clinics, Mercy Physicians, just to name a few that, that we have. We're blessed that in San Diego, we have some terrific medical groups here. So the trick is, here's the deal, is you have to match up your best insurance company that goes with the best medical group, and, and each one's a little bit different. So I'm going to kind of help you out and kind of get the three examples of where we see things going here, just to kind of help you out, right? So for Scripps, if you have a Scripps primary doctor and Scripps specialist, and you're looking for an option two, an advantage plan, then we recommend that we look at SCAN. So the SCAN classic plan has, uh, it's co-branded with Scripps. It has all kind of the bells and whistles that you're looking for. It has the zero monthly premium. It has the, the free silver sneakers gym membership. It has a zero cost vision exam, transportation to get you back and forth to the doctor. Uh, telehealth, home meals, and even travel insurance. So it's, it really uh, is an all-encompassing package. They're a good company to work with. Um, if there's a problem comes up, they work hard to solve it. So they're really, uh, they're really key for that. All right? When we move over to Sharp, so the Sharp Healthcare, we recommend United Healthcare. So United Healthcare, and especially the Walgreens plan, something new this year. So the Walgreens plan, it works with Sharp. So it's a all the sharp networks, all your sharp doctors uh, will work with this Walgreens plan. And it's a, it's a zero premium plan also, but look at that. It's no cost, so zero uh, premium to see your uh, primary doctor, zero co-pays for primary and specialist. It has a gym membership, uh, vision exams, transportation, chiropractor, zero cost for colonoscopy. $40 a quarter for the over-the-counter benefit. And look at that, that insulin benefit, $35 per month for insulin. So it's really all-encompassing. It's a terrific plan. Um, Sharp uh, does a great job for their customers. 
And also Sharp in San Diego, there's a Sharp Restealy, there's Sharp Community, there's Arch, Arch Health Partners, and there's Graybill Clinic and Escondido. So all fall under that Sharp umbrella, and all, the, all those doctors and specialists um, also are uh, available on the Sharp Walgreens plan for this year for going forward. So it really is terrific. Moving ahead to UCSD. So if you have a UCSD doctor or even the Perlman Clinics, UCSD uh, is going with Humana. So the Humana UCSD plan, they actually have it uh, co-branded this year, and it's a terrific plan. Look at some of the benefits there. So zero monthly premium, zero primary doctor, zero for urgent care, has a gym membership for no cost, vision exams, transportation, $75 per quarter for over-the-counter. But the look at that little part behind it, it's, it rolls over. So if you don't happen to use your over-the-counter, and if you don't understand the over-the-counter, anything you would think of if you walked into a drugstore. So Band-Aids, aspirin, vitamins, skin cream, I mean, all these things you're normally going to buy from a drugstore already, you can now get through your Medicare plan free of charge. This Humana plan has a terrific little feature that that $75 over-the-counter rolls over. So if you don't use it, you can get into the second quarter and now have $150. And if you get all the way to the end of the year and you haven't used it up, there's $300 of free stuff. You order out a catalog or go online, and uh, they'll send it to you for free of charge. So it's actually a really terrific deal. So maybe you can get and, and uh, all your Christmas presents, give everybody a bathroom scale for Christmas off the, over the counter. Uh, the last thing is they have the comprehensive dental, $2,000 worth of dental. Comprehensive, and the and the Go365 program is kind of a neat program. So what they do is every year you should get your Medicare physical, right? Well, you go get your physical or mammogram or pap smear, all that stuff, and they'll actually pay you. They'll give you gift cards for actually completing this. So they're in, is giving you incentive to go take care of your health care, and they give you gift cards for that you can use at some of the different department stores that, that you choose. So it's a, it's a really a terrific deal. So anyway, that's, that's a Humana plan. Also um, works with UCSD and the Perlman Clinics. It's a new plan for 2021. So again, give us our office a call. We'd be happy to kind of send out the details on it and let you kind of take a look at it. But um, yeah, it looks really terrific. So anyway, some other Medicare changes for 2021 that maybe you are or not aware of is there's a lower insulin cost uh, that the program that many of the carriers are now participated in. And it's a maximum of $35 per month for certain insulins. So that's actually a nice feature to have. And something new also, those patients that are on kidney dialysis can now join an Advantage plan for the first time. So that was one of the knockout questions. Really, you could have you know, five stages of cancer. That's fine. But if you have on kidney dialysis, sorry, you can't get on an Advantage plan. Well, that question's now gone. And so those that have uh, only been on kidney dialysis, been original Medicare, um, been on the hook for that 20 percent, um, now can get an Advantage plan that will give them a max out-of-pocket expense. It'll give them access to the dental, the vision, the hearing, the transportation, the over-the-counter, uh, all these different things they've been missing out on, uh, they can now get on. So that's something new for 2021 that's really exciting. And it's going to help a lot of folks out this year. So I wanted to thank you for voting Bridalwood uh, best insurance provider for five years now. So five-time winner, best of San Diego. We're A-plus rated by the BBB. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the distinction. Um, we work hard for our customers. We do a good job. And the rewards come later, right? So uh, the rewards are a thank you for the job that we're doing for people, and they sure appreciate it. And I understand that. So, you know, we've got hundreds of five-star reviews. I always love seeing the reviews come in. It tells us a lot about how we're doing for our customers. Even though we're based in San Diego, we've grown in, in a matter of six and a half years. We've gone from just uh, starting here in San Diego. We're now in 27 different states. We've got 500 plus agents. So we're supporting a lot of agents across the nation and it's growing rapidly. So this last year um, we saw a remarkable growth and that's gonna continue going forward. Yeah, our people are held to a pretty high standard when it comes to Medicare. I mean, we really make them and drill them, uh, train, train, train on getting this, this part done. So um, we've been number one in San Diego and, uh, and just recently we're named number one in Denver also. So Br Bridalwood's kind of really taken off. 
kind of have a different philosophy than most. Uh, most agents out there will sign you up and you'll never hear from them again. Well, Bridalwood, when we sign you up, that's just the start of a relationship. We stay with you for years and years and years. Your whole Medicare journey will be with you every step of the way. Maybe people don't know that uh, we're out there, we're available, right? The insurance companies pay us to take care of you. So why would you try to tackle this on your own? And uh, there's so many caveats and things going on with Medicare today. You really need to have a Medicare advisor help you, walk you through a licensed insurance agent that specializes in Medicare to walk you through all the little nuances and things that are out there. Right? So we get paid by the insurance companies that take care of you. So please use us. Um, that's what we're there for. It's a calling, actually. We're here. Um, we get up every day to go and help you and help you save you money, get the best care possible. So, I mean, just go ahead and do it. Um, the last thing I'm going to kind of hone in on here, as you know, it's every year your doctor says, come on in for an annual physical, right? And most of you do. Most of you go in and get your annual physical. You really need to have a Medicare physical, an annual Medicare physical every year because these things change every year. So the plan that you signed up for three, four years ago is basically obsolete. But what happens is every year you get an annual notice of change. It's called an ANOC letter. Many of you have already had it by now. They sent out by Medicare. But Medicare only tells you about the existing plan you already have. They don't tell you to a plan to your left or a right that actually could save you money or give you extra benefits. So the only way you're really going to find out about something like that is to have your Medicare agent help you kind of decide, well, here's my medical needs, um, here's my doctor, here's my specialist, here's my prescriptions I'm taking, and then kind of feel what, how all those pieces fit together and which plan is best for you. You know, many times you come back and say, you know what, you're on the best plan. Congratulations, we're going to go with it for another year. Sometimes you come back and go, you know, we could save you three, four hundred dollars if we go this direction and give you the same type of even better care that you're getting now and could save you money. So why wouldn't you want to do that? So that's why an annual Medicare physical is what we're asking you to do. So there's a lot of people going to be doing plan changes this year and, and uh, our phones have been uh, really ringing off the hook. So what we're asking you to do is if you go to bridalwoodvip.com, just go onto the website, Bridalwood VIP, and you go ahead and you fill out your name and contact information. That way we get you on a, a, a list of uh, front of the line. We make sure that you get taken care of. And uh, what we'll do is we'll sign you one of our terrific uh, insurance specialists to be able to uh, take a look at your situation, give you kind of a review and see where we're at and make sure everything's okay for 2021. Right? I think it's this year especially, especially in San Diego, is that there's been so much new inflow of information and, and plans that have come into the area this year, uh, especially on the prescription drug side. You really need to have your plan reviewed. Right? Just five or ten minutes, it doesn't take much, do a kind of a quick phone review. We can kind of get a thumbnail sketch of what's going on, and then we can gather the information needed, get that out to you, walk you through it, and then you can make the informed decision instead of just throwing a dart at the wall and hopefully it, you, know, you got the right thing. All right? As a little incentive, right? we love incentives. So for those that go to Bridalwood VIP, go ahead and get signed on and have one of our Medicare Bridalwood agents uh, kind of walk you through the, the Medicare physical. We will send you out a brand new uh, Bridalwood mask. I wish we didn't have to wear a mask, but we do. And these are comfortable, they're stylish. I tell you, it even makes you look better, right? So go ahead and get your Bridalwood mask on. We'll send it out to you free of charge. I just want you to um, uh, have your plan reviewed. I want you to get taken care of, right? Um, there's so many people like I worry that uh, somebody's trying to sell me something. We're really not. We're not salespeople. We're problem solvers. That's what we do. So we take your situation. Every customer is like a word problem, right? The husband's 65, the wife's 63, this is this is this. You know, we, we put it all together. That's our job, and that's what we do every day. Uh, some cases a little harder than others. It helps that we have 135 agents just right here in San Diego. So we kind of huddle our most experienced agents together when we have a tough situation and kind of bounce it off us between you know, the eight or 10 of us that have been here for 12, 15 years, um, one of us have been through this case before and we know how to take care of it and do it right. So anyway, I hope you go to Bridalwood VIP. 
uh, com. Go ahead and get signed up. We'll fire out a mask to you and to get you going. So that's pretty much it to, for today. I want to thank everybody in San Diego for being so terrific. Um, thank you for coming on and, and getting this little presentation. We are located right at the corner of uh, uh, we're in Carmel Mountain. That's where we are, kind of northern part. Uh, we're right by the Interstate 15 and the 56 where it meets. Uh, that's where we are. So that's our location. That's our building. Um, our phone number, 858-753-7000. You can always reach us there. Um, or you can reach us at Bridalwood Insurance. Info at bridalwoodinsurance.com. And our website, obviously, is www.bridalwoodinsurance.com. Give us a, a call, an email, smoke signals, whatever works for you. Uh, we're here to help. And I thank you very much for your participation today. Thank you to the Aging Expo for putting on this terrific event and being able to help so many seniors out. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again. It's Medicare open enrollment across America. New Medicare plans are now available. At Bridalwood Medicare Insurance, we specialize in finding lower premiums and extra benefits for our customers. Bridalwood agents can help you compare plans because plans change and your health needs may have changed too. Call Bridalwood Medicare Insurance toll free 877-267-5514 or visit us online bridalwoodinsurance.com.